Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're cooking with lettuce. Not making a salad, we're actually cooking it. Something that we don't normally think of doing in Australia, but very popular in France, in Italy and other parts of Europe. Uh, cos lettuce, or sometimes called a romaine lettuce, is great for this. And all we want to do is cut it into quarters. Now, if it has the roots on, obviously we're getting rid of them first. This one doesn't. So, into quarters, and we want to keep it as intact as we can. So, we'll trim off the very, very end, because that's a bit dirty. But, we want to try and not cut all the way through, because we still want those leaves holding together. Now I'm going to give it a quick rinse under the sink just to make sh under the tap just to make sure there's no dirt stuck between the leaves and then we're going to pop it in a frying pan with a shallot, some salt and pepper and some chicken stock. Now we've made chicken stock in the past but we only need a little bit for this so I'm using one of my favorite kitchen shortcuts Maggie Beer's excellent chicken stock and we can use the rest of that in our vichyssoise later on. So we're going to start off with a little butter melted over a low heat. In with our shallot. Good pinch of salt. Always a good pinch of salt, right? And give that a stir around. And I'm just going to pop the lid on and let that sweat down for five minutes or so, maybe ten until it's tender. All right, there we go. They're nice and tender. That butter's just starting to get a nice little bit of colour to it. So now, in with our lettuce. One of the cut sides down. This lettuce is a bit bigger than I've used before, so that pan's going to be a bit squeezy, but it will all fit. There we go. In with our stock. and up with our heat and now we're just going to let that come to a boil all right so that's come to a boil now I'm just going to pop the lid on turn the heat down and let it simmer for a few minutes so after about five or six minutes that's nice and well done. now we just need to carefully turn it over and put the other side in contact with the pan and we're just going to cook that for a few more minutes until this stem end is tender. So there we go. That's been in there for another four minutes or so. This is one of those dishes where we really can't be specific about time because every lettuce is different. But we want to know that that stem end is tender. And that is just tender. It's also up to you how tender you want it to be. The Europeans would have it quite tender. The Aussies, maybe not so much. So now, out onto a serving plate. I'm going to leave as much moisture behind as possible because we're just going to reduce that down now to get a bit more of a sauce. So now we're just going to turn this up onto high and let it boil for a few minutes, as long as it takes, to get a nice saucy consistency to go over our lettuce. So there we go. After a few minutes, that's come down to quite a saucy consistency. It's not going to be thick, but we want just enough sauce to drizzle over our lettuce. Let's have a taste. It actually does not need any more salt. I did a good job with the salt in the first place, but we'll just give it a little pepper and then over our lettuce with all of that lovely shallot as well. Yum, yum, yum. So now, when you look in the salad aisle, you'll know that there's more to lettuce than just salad. It's also a vegetable. Braised lettuce, bon appetit.